you're at Edge of the Web. And your host of this show takes the gigantic challenge of search engine marketing success extremely seriously. My selfie just hit 100 likes. <laughs> 100! He knows exactly where his true priorities need to be. Here's your host, Aaron Sparks. Check this out. Hey, we, we've been talking about lead acquisition from the online marketing initiatives for the last few weeks, right? And part of the deep diving into this important subject is the focus of you know all these parts that are, are in digital marketing. We're going to be continuing that in a number number of different series. We first uh, focused on pay per click lead acquisition was this next big run that we were doing. We needed to have a final piece to present that actually you know, either can nullify the work that you're actually doing in pursuit of new leads online, or can springboard your lead acquisition and conversion into new heights. And guess what? It doesn't have to do with any new technology or new online tools. Shocking. Well, yeah, I know. Or, or, stra or strategy that has to do with one simple thing, the response time. So uh, let me introduce to you Jack Frisbee, a friend of Site Strategics and the show. Hi, Jack. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very <laughs> glad to hear Jack's with Optimize Selling Solutions. They're a training, coaching, and a consulting firm dedicated to, to improving small business by optimizing their sales through character-based selling systems called Servant Selling. Uh, Jack is also an author of a great book, Stop Serving, uh, Stop Selling, Start Serving. Mm. So uh, I, I truly appreciate his perspective in business and he certainly has helped uh, our own uh, sales process and, and is continuing to do so but um, Jack tell us a little bit about yourself and how we kind of got together uh, in your relationship with us so we do sales training and we also do what we refer to as outsourced sales management and part of that management piece is we work with companies to help them you know script and mm -hmm. help them uh, figure out their sales process and so we started working together, uh, Site Strategics as well as um, Optimized Selling Solutions, talking about um, working on sales process and trying to kind of nail that sales process down, get mm -hmm. some things scripted out, make sure that we're responding well. Mm -hmm. And uh, so one of the things that came out of that conversation that I think both of us have been very excited about is just this issue of responsiveness yep. to inbound leads. And a uh, quick story is I uh, contacted a company just this past, oh, about two weeks ago, for some information and uh, almost exactly one week later they now this is a sales training organization by the way wow. that took almost exactly one week and and when the guy did finally contact me he said contact me said uh, well I was on vacation this past week so I'm just getting around to getting back to people yeah, uh -huh. I thought okay next <laughs> winner that sounds plausible yeah <laughs> what's, and, what's wrong with that it's plausible <laughs> so what, wow. what we've Jack, talked you about would probably is, strangle me honestly you, would, <laughs> you know it's just not that uncommon it's really not that uncommon and, and you Doug know, doesn't answer his phone period so. well back to the analogy of walking into Nordstrom's and being told hey yeah. you know you know come back in 24 to 48 hours yep. and only 50 percent of those people are actually even you know contacted that's really what we see yeah in the in the data on it absolutely and you know we've actually done a bit of analysis into ma the major factor in, in the result of poor lead acquisition rates and that is incredible so let's, let's set the stage here uh, like we were saying you know what would happen if you walked into Nordstrom's and you were you were told you'd be you know to be shoved out the door and you were told hey, you'll be contacted in twenty four to forty eight hours or a week <laughs> for mm -hmm. that matter? Yeah. You know that happened. Just imagine that happening to all the Nordstrom's customers, and then fifty percent of them aren't even connected. You got to start thinking about how you're treating your inbound leads. Now, this is a conversation that's not a online marketing conversation it, these are the thing these are the tools that bring these leads in but as a CEO a CFO uh, a sales director needs to be hearing this show because whatever you're doing in online marketing and on top of that the marketing director of firms should actually be pointing this show mm -hmm. towards the sales director because their own initiatives are actually affected the success success rate is actually filtered by how sales, how communication uh, responds to any leads that are incoming into, into a site, either chat, Chat. Well, we got live some live interaction, but what, have, what happens if your chat's off? What if who's in, who's responsible to for that chat program has it turned off? We saw one today. It was turned off until ten thirty in the in the in the in the morning, right? Well, that's not an effective uh, chill, and it has a brand, bad brand uh, result to that. So, I mean, we we uh, looked at some data here recently because we're really 
putting together a focus that we can communicate to our own clients about. Uh, Lead 360 Research is a reference that we had in, in, our, in our data. And they found that lead conversion is actually determined 57% by the lead quality and then 43% by the sales process alone. So you got a great lead gen program, but if you're not maximizing the follow-up, right, you're losing almost half of your opportunities right out of the gate. So, I mean, just imagine literally throwing half the dollars that you spend at any of your, your lead acquisition focus, any of your marketing, you know, mm-hmm. literally take half the money that you're spending to have eyes on that billboard, eyes on that website, right? Yeah. And throw it away. Well, the tension, I think the tension that exists a lot of times between the marketing department and the sales department is the sales department's always saying, well, these leads stink. Right. right. Marketing right. department is saying, well, you know, you're, you're not really following up on them. Well, of course the lead is going to stink if it's taking uh, a salesperson a week to get back to a lead. It's, it's, it's dead. It's completely dead. In fact, the research actually shows that if it takes you more than about 24 hours to respond to a lead, you're actually better better off uh-huh. not to respond to it because of the negative association with your brand. Listen to that. In and 24 it, hours. And that's, and that's people that actually answer the, mm-hmm. that don't hang up. Yeah. Right? A lot of people, if nobody answers, they just hang up. They yeah, don't even right. leave a message. They don't even leave a, yeah. but you yeah. lost them for good. But yeah. in a form submission. Or a submission. lead form, you yeah. know, a lead form yeah. that gets that gets submitted. Absolutely. Yeah. According to uh, Lead 360's analysis of 25 million data points, check this out. Conversion rates are 391% higher when the lead is called within a minute of their inquiry, 120 percent higher within two minutes, ninety eight percent higher in under three minutes, and sixty two percent in under thirty minutes, and thirty six percent in under an hour. Just if you if you corral your lead response time within an hour of communication with your website, you're increasing your lead opportunity by thirty six percent. Wouldn't you want three hundred and ninety one percent increase increase of conversions? Right. I mean, that's the data that we're talking about here. Even leads that that eventually become qualified are sensitive to that initial that initial speed to call. You know, research shows that even through the consu- even though the consumer may go price shopping, that sense of loyalty. That actually, uh, you know, drives them back to the vendor who actually called them first. Mm-hmm. So it's very, very important to get this straight is that the, 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 the conversion rate is not at the point where they drop into the bucket. The conversion rate is whenever you respond to them, right? There's actually some data out now that shows that the, the buyer, 75% of the time the buyer is going to purchase from the person who reaches out to mm-hmm. them and gives them good information first. Wow. So they mm-hmm. don't even move past the first person, seventy-five no. percent of the time, mm-hmm. and that's and that's the, that's the that's the goal, holy grail there of of sales opportunity that seems to just be ignored, even with all the the advent of such great technology and great tracking systems, it all falls apart whenever it drops into a culture issue inside of your sales organization. And we see that time and time again. And this actually has been a running focus of site strategics. That's why we're spending so, so much time on it, is that our success rate is translated by how you process your leads that we send you. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that is a thing that we, you know, we've gotten inside of call tracking and form tracking to be able to demonstrate that and, 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 and show the quality that we're bringing. But ultimately, it gets down to those, that, that response time from the, cli- from the clients themselves. So th-